New at six, from trash to treasure, one local city is raffling off an abandoned home they bought and renovated. The winner gets to buy the house at an affordable price, but not everyone in the neighborhood is a fan of the plan. From the Providence Bubble Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan is in East Providence. We asked city representatives a lot of questions. Will they even make any money off of this? Are neighbors okay with it? And why they decided to do it? Taking a step toward the American dream may soon be much easier for someone in East Providence. The city bought a foreclosed home that had been sitting vacant for three years. Now fully renovated, the three-bedroom home will be sold through a lottery. The lottery gave more people access to it. Mm -hmm. It would create a lot of community buzz. And it is creating buzz both positive and negative. We spoke with several neighbors who questioned why the city just doesn't sell it outright. With $110,000 in renovations invested, the property will be sold for just $130,000. We wanted to know if it's too good of a deal. In a sense, it's not. It's taken a property that was let and gone for circumstances out of everyone's control. Vacant homes can become problem homes. Some we spoke with are just happy an eyesore has been taken care of. I didn't want to see this property sit vacant. Its roof was leaking. It was starting to get damaged inside. And the typical scenario, if it hasn't been on the market in a year, um, it's probably going to sit there. The property will be sold with a deed restriction. The first 40 applicants who qualify will go into the lottery. The deadline for applications is December 14th. We're told that lottery drawing will be held on December 18th during a city council meeting. In East Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News. For more information on qualifications, rules, and how to apply to participate in this affordable home lottery, go to our website, WPRI.com.